I just got up and made my iced coffee. I'm not gonna take my vitamins yet because I'm trying to increase my iron and I heard that caffeine inhibits iron absorption. So when I'm finished with this, I'll wait like two hours and then I'll take my vitamin. It's time for breakfast. I'm gonna have these oats. Also, I'm gonna make a smoothie. It is frozen banana, frozen strawberry, some creatine, hemp parts. To make it a little bit more filling, I'm gonna put this peanut butter in it, but I get the white chocolate peanut butter for my smoothies because I think it tastes better with strawberry banana. Like I don't want a really peanut buttery strawberry banana smoothie. So this is like kind of like a more mild peanut butter. It like complements the strawberry banana I think more than just normal peanut butter. Yeah. And soy milk. I like the soy milk because it adds protein yeah. more than oat milk. On my steel cut oats, I put some blueberries and pumpkin seeds, um, and then a little bit of soy milk. Pumpkin seeds that I put in here and the hemp parts that I put in here are not like super high in iron, but they do have iron, so that's why I've been adding those in recently, just to increase my iron a little bit. with the tofu. This is the tofu. I wish I had like a, um, a kitchen island so that you could like see what I'm doing better. For the tofu, I'm gonna marinate it. This is kind of like, I guess a Buddha bowl, but mine is, oh, is Bibibop inspired, like the Bibibop bowls, because I love getting food there. I don't think they marinate their tofu, but I'm going to because I'm making it and I can't. So that was coconut aminos. This is garlic paste. This is ginger paste. I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil and sesame oil. Sesame oil, I think you could do like a vinegar if you wanted to or um, some like lemon juice or maybe maple syrup if you wanted, but I think this is enough for me. I guess I could have made this this morning so that it could have marinated all morning, but I baked my tofu and it's really nice, so I still think it's gonna be really good. I used baking soda because I've seen people do that on social media to wash their stuff, so I've been doing that recently. Because I'm baking this in the oven or like roasting it, I want it to be super dry so that it gets um, crispy. So that's why I'm gonna dry it really well. I want the broccoli to be really crispy, so I'm gonna put a lot of oil on it, garlic, salt, and pepper. Uh, I have the oven preheating to 400, and then I will put um, the tofu and the broccoli on the tray and get it baked or roasted. While I wait on those, I'm gonna make the like corn salsa that I will have for these.
Next, I'm going to shred the carrot. Next, I'm going to drain some kidney beans. I'm gonna have kidney beans on my Buddha bowl because they are the highest in iron. It has 15% of what you need in a day and that's in just a half a cup. And then I'm also gonna do these seven grains because I don't feel like making rice. And I'm turning the oven off. I think it was maybe 25 minutes in the oven. Let's start to assemble. I made, I think it was last week, you just do like part water, part vinegar, simmer it with some sugar and salt to like get the sugar dissolved. Yeah, it's really easy. I can leave the recipe link. With the leftovers, I'll just keep making this all week. I'm gonna take my vitamins now. It's almost four o'clock and I'm actually still eating my lunch. I accidentally just ate two. Whoops. This is my Omega. I take a prenatal. My OB was the one that said that my iron is low. I'm not pregnant, but whatever. Anyways, so she wants to test it in two months. So this is the prenatal I take, I'll link it. It doesn't have omegas, so I'm taking this. And then I don't take it in the morning anymore because iron doesn't get absorbed when you have caffeine with it. So that's why I wait two hours until I'm done with my coffee. And then I have it, I, which I like messed up today and I'm a little bit late. And then I also drink a glass of orange juice while I take it because the vitamin C helps. Before I go to the gym, I'm gonna make my pizza dough. Two, what is this, teaspoons? Two big teaspoons, so like almost two and a quarter to two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Some salt. Oh, and sorry. some sugar. And a little bit of oil maybe like a tablespoon-ish. And then a cup of warm-ish water. You don't want it to be like too hot though. Oh, that's hot. My mom would always say bath water, but honestly, I would say even a little bit warmer than bath water. But also like bath water is kind of not a, bath water temperature, obviously not real bath water. I feel like that's like subjective though. And then you want to mix that so that the yeast is activated in the warm water. Oh, hey, you disaster. I don't know if I have enough flour, but we're gonna see. Usually you would do two, two and a half cups-ish of flour. I do a half a cup of vital wheat gluten. A quarter cup of this has 24 grams of protein. So if we split the, my husband and I split the pizza dough like fairly evenly, we're each getting a little over 20 grams of protein in the serving, not including the flour. And then obviously like cheese and pepperoni and all the things. So I'll see, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of flour left. I'm basically substituting like a half a cup of white flour for the vital wheat gluten. You don't have to do that, I just like that it adds protein. Now I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna film so that this video can be a little bit more interesting. 
And on the way to the gym, I'm gonna drink this iced tea. It's green tea. This is the tea that it is. Green tea with lemongrass and spearmint. So I think it has just a little bit of caffeine in it. Oh, it says it's 31 to 45 milligrams of iced tea, milligrams of caffeine. And I think that it also helps with bloating personally for me because it does it has the spearmint in it rather than like taking a pre-workout that like makes you bloated. Also, I took my prenatal about two hours ago, so I should be good to have caffeine. I just try to keep a two-hour window between when I take my prenatal and caffeine. Let's go. I'm starting my workout off with these hip abductors. I really like to do these to get warmed up. Next, I'm going into hip thrusts. Next, I did these split squats. If you want to feel split squats in your glutes, uh, this also is for Bulgarian split squats, lean a little bit more forward. And if you want to feel it more in your quads, then stand more like upright. Okay, so I have been trying to do pistol squats. When I was about 10, maybe 15 pounds lighter, I could easily do pistol squats no problem and I thought I was going to maintain that as I gained weight and I quickly was not able to do pistol squats at least not as many and as well as I used to be able to so that's why I'm doing this I'm I mostly struggle with flexibility like being able to keep my leg up high enough and a little bit of balance so I'm really not helping myself holding on I'm not like using my upper body strength to pull myself up until I get to like to the last few reps and I'm really tired but uh, yeah I'm mostly using it for balance next I'm doing glute kickbacks I used to not like this machine until Planet Fitness like upgraded and got a new version of it and I like this one now better so give it a try if you used to not like it you might like it now also I prefer to do these with a really short range of motion so I'm not pushing my leg back as far as it will possibly go I'm really just focusing on squeezing my glutes feeling it in my glutes and almost doing like a pulse next I'm doing this leg curl to train my hamstrings I've mentioned this before but when you want to grow your glutes, it's very important that you don't just focus on your glute muscles in the gym. You need to train hamstrings as well because your hamstrings and your glutes tie in together and your glutes can only get as strong as the other muscles around it. So also keeping strong hamstrings will support your glutes in getting stronger. My watch says that I was in the gym for 45 minutes. I didn't do abs today. I don't really have an excuse I just didn't feel like it and I think it's been about an hour since I made the pizza dough so it should be risen enough that I can start making the pizza I guess once I get home I need to stretch more I'm like I can tell I'm like really stiff I know it's just because I work so much sitting down like I, I have two remote jobs where I sit all day and then I have YouTube where I, hour, or I, I edit for like hours at a time and on top of that so yeah <laughs> which I should have stretched before I left but I just like I just I don't feel like it I just want to go home and make pizza I look gross it's time to make pizza this is how the dough looks I'm gonna set the oven to 400 degrees my husband and I both make like our own individual pizzas for cheese I just get the Aldi vegan mozzarella because I am not picky and then I've been getting this field roast vegan pepperoni. I think this is the most popular vegan pepperoni, but it's also really easy to make. I've made it before and it's with wheat gluten. And yes, this is also with wheat gluten. So you just use the wheat gluten, like of what I put in the dough and you season it with, you know, what's in here? You put like oil, smoked paprika. Um, you want to do smoke, liquid smokes has garlic, oil, things like that. And then you roll it up into like a log in foil and then steam it and then you just like slice it. And so honestly it tastes just like this field roast one. Also this is the Aldi pepperoni, or not pepperoni, um, what is this? Pizza sauce. We use this one or Kroger. Okay. Now what? I need you to open the sauce before you get your hands oily though. It happened all the time. Also I'm recording. 
You can keep singing if you want, though. That's all the lyrics I knew. Oh. <laughs> it was from a TikTok. I was just watching. Okay. There you go. Thank you. How was your workout? Pretty good. It was super busy, though. It's like always busy in there now, I feel like. <laughs> Well, I have no idea what my weight in an episode because you know I don't track that. What? I know, even though I tell my viewers that they should for progressive overload, it's important. Uh, Just go to failure. I don't think I want to put this back in the drawer, but I also don't want it. Do you want it? Just keep going back in. I know, it's the weak loon. Oh, the new ones that we have? The new ones that you're using? The flower that I use, yeah. Do you want me to work on it? No, it's okay. Oh, no, let me work on it. I got mine. And I have less dough than you. I gave you all the dough. Alright, I'll leave you some of the dishes. Yeah, I know it is, like, annoying. I feel like I have more patience with it. But I feel like it's worth it, because you get 25 grams of protein now. Like, yeah. extra grams. And... I'm it, it. It's, like, fluffier, isn't it? I'm so about it. I've been liking putting my pepperonis first and then my cheese on top. Tell me or vlog? Both. <laughs> so during my workout, I was thinking, yeah. what if humans go extinct and then like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years later, there's like a new species that's like kind of similar to humans. But like way, 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 way smarter and like way, way, way stronger and faster and has way, way better vision and eyesight or like vision and hearing and all the things. And then, but they're able to like discover like that us, like that there used to be humans and like find all of our history and everything. Mm -hmm. And they they look at us and think like we're so silly and stupid. You probably would because like we think cavemen are something stupid. Exactly, yeah. They would look at us like we were cavemen. They'd be like, they had diseases and they couldn't cure it, and they would like know all the cures to like all of yeah, our yeah. They all had our diseases. Uh, cancer pandemic for so long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we have like climate change, and they're gonna be like, they couldn't solve climate change with dumbasses. Right. No. And then they're gonna find out that humans used to have like 2024 bingo boards. And stuff, and they're gonna be bingo like, board? yeah, bingo board for like the year, and they're gonna be like, they predicted the twenty, and they predicted in twenty twenty four that there was gonna be a World War Three, and then there was, and then that's how they went extinct, and they're gonna be like so silly they predicted their extinction. So you really thought about this? That's a whole ass fucking story. Well, yeah, I mean, I was in the gym for like an hour, and they're gonna be like, humans are, they're gonna be like, humans were so. Silly, they had favorite colors and like little pets, like pet rodents and stuff. How the frick did you do that? For That's me? right, I'm recording. Family friendly. I might speed it up and take the audio out. I might have to, so I don't get banned. That's the conversation of the extinction. Yeah, that was funny. Okay. That's not our conversation. Where's my damn cheese? You got cheese. No, you do, it's just not in the drawer. I do know everything. Okay, I think that's everything. The freak is a cheese. I kind of thought about putting like vegetables on my pizza this time so that the vlog wouldn't think that I'm unhealthy, but we're not gonna fake it. No. You'd call me out, wouldn't you? I'll say you're the most unvegan vegan I know. I don't know what that means. I <laughs> don't eat vegetables as much as I thought you would. Oh. Yeah, you, you that was so funny when I started dating and I was eating food snacks all the time. Animal crackers, which I think is kind of wrong. I, I do think that is kind of wrong too because they are shaped like animals, so. A little, a little it's, it's a gray area, it's a gray area. <laughs> I'm honestly, food snacks are the same way, like sometimes they're like lions and elephants and stuff. I'm so thirsty. I forgot to take water to the gym with me. I'd use the water fountain. We got a 16 minute timer going. 16 minute timer going. Yeah, action. Ooh. The vegan one. Oh, you want to pull yours out? I'm going to leave it. Oh, okay. I'm to cook a little bit longer. I want you to cut my pizza though. I, I, like, I like how you do it better. I've got a this is Noah before she goes vegan. 
I had a costume Every change. Every type of bad weather. Because I showered. Uh, feel it calm. Could this be my thumbnail? Every Thanks for watching my video. Day. I appreciate you so much. Shine I love you. Bye. Day. It never ever fly away.